I thought they both played solidly this afternoon. I think probably both feel that they will need to be at their best here. A lot of respect between these two, as we heard in the interviews before the match began. Paolo Nevis. John Higgins. Well, it had to be quite thin. Yeah. Ooh. Paolo and the miss. <laughs> so, this time he must John hit Higgins. one. Yep. And they took the wide cue ball around the angles. They didn't want to play it that way because you're leaving Reds. One. Breaks of 82 and 88 this afternoon against Lee Walker. Six. So just shows you how consistent they've been over the last decade. Winning. Fourteen. Twenty two. Yeah, and I think it's also important. This was the case last time, as you say. Please. Thirty-eight. Forty-six. No Seven. such problem, went straight in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of lucky how he likes to play, Dave, isn't it? Just to... Every time you come to the table, it's sort of high stakes. Because <laughs> he's such a tough competitor in all areas, including break building. As... Ninety. So this match already. Mark Selby starts the evening with a century. Yeah, that's it. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> well, what a start. Uh, reminded everyone for days afterwards that you hadn't got any money for it. <laughs> but in terms of how he's feeling here, what to stop him here. One hundred and fifteen. One hundred and eight. One hundred and twenty-two. Third time to avoid losing the frame. The next shot Higgins played, he left a chance. Mark Selby. One hundred and twenty-seven. One hundred and thirty-three. 